Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video in which I will show you how I make my character database in Notion. And first I want to do some backstory because I write stories as a hobby. I've never published anything and maybe I will publish something in the future, but that will be a project like later on in the future, that's not something I'm planning on right now. I have been writing stories ever since I am able to write. First it was in those floppy notebooks and later on it was on my computer, my laptop. In the beginning it were mostly stories without any plot. It was just me or my main character living their best life, living my dreams. And later on it were more fantasy stories and I did research and everything and if you do research one of the things you need to do research about is your characters who are they how do they speak how do they look like like a mini encyclopedia a mini <laughs> anyway a book, a, a place for you, you can look up whether or not your character has specific traits or not. Because if you write a book with so many characters and so many things that happen, you need one place to store everything. And I have been in love with Notion. Notion is a free app and uh, I have discovered it, I think, five years ago and I use it for everything and I love how you can make it in your personal style. But before I start talking about Notion and how a big fan I am, I think we just sh should hop into the topic, into the character database. So buckle up, make some tea. My tea has this little cute spoon that I feel like I need to show you. There is no need for me to have a spoon in my tea because it's just tea, but it's just cute. Okay, so as you can see, this is my uh, notion and we're now into like stories and then I have my stories and I think this one is most worked out, so we will work with this one. And this is my interface for this particular story. I have some mood boards, pages written, um, some handy dandy things. For example, I will just really fast show you my interface. Uh, yeah, I think this speaks for itself, so I will not jump into that. Chapters is very useful. Uh, I have just like all the chapters I need to write and you can toggle it and then you can see what it is about. And then here I have like to check it off. Only uh, later on in a story I wrote after this, I discovered that it's much easier to just select it and do this. But we will not do that because <laughs> I already chose to do this. And then we have, yes, this is something because I write, uh, write from four different perspectives that come together at the end. I want that their timelines, that they all meet on the same day. Not someone has only three days passed and other has five days passed. So, uh, you know. And then the thing we all want to see, character database. Yes, so is this everything? Yes, this is everything. Okay. Let's show you. So here we have all my characters. Or the most important ones. I have these, oh, how do you call this? To make like selections because they all belong to different kingdoms, different groups. So if I want this kingdom, I see all the people that belong to that kingdom, which are a lot. Or if I want another kingdom, I just say this one and you get another view. <laughs> I think that's very useful. Then I have side character, main character, and then I have families because they all belong to families. So that makes it very... Um, Google Translate, please be my friend. <laughs> that was so easy. And yet, I couldn't come up with it. So... It makes it very clear 
for you where you need to seek. You have all the things you need to know in just one page. So I think you understand why I love Notion. And if you think this is amazing, no, it will get better. And so I always use the gallery view. I will show you how to make this, by the way, but I will first take you along so that you know what we're going to make. And now we have a table that's here. You can see how I programmed it. Now we have like an overview of all my characters, but we also want to know who they are, what they do. Well, let me show you. You click on the character and this is everything I want to know about them that is important for me. I have like the basic um, information, skin color, hair length, hair type, hair color, a quote that is fitting for him. And then his family tree. Some of them have superpowers, so that's also very important. The birthplace uh, status, is he a king or is he just a villager? What is his goal? What is his weakness? What is his strength? That is something that I think is very important. Every person has weaknesses. Every person has strengths. Every person has an internal conflict. Uh, there's a way they think of themselves. There's a way they think of their friends. What are their values? That's something that m makes a story, I think, very character driven. I find it very interesting to write as many different uh, character point of views or not point of views but that they all have their own personality and just like in a real world our personalities don't always line up and I think that makes a story very interesting so I always try to don't make it all make it look like the same kind of thing and then I have a backstory and uh, the outfit because <laughs> you cannot see it I do you need to say it's a lot of work to make this character database and sometimes I'm just like yeah but I know my character all so well <laughs> or I know my character I don't need to write it down but girl you don't need to write it down <laughs> just do it I will show you in another project I think is there another project where we still need a character database oh we already have a character a database here also looks cute. I did do some emojis here. That's so, and the ones that I still need to make. We need another page. Add a cover. Ooh, a story about space. You can also change this cover, but let's just keep it this way. Okay, and then we see a blank canvas, but we need something, so. What we do is we go to, so this is database. We will work with a gallery view, but I always choose table view because we can ch change this to a gallery view later on. And then we just start. Okay, so our first character's name is Susie Sunflower. And then we have a mother, Poppy Sunflower. And then we have a love interest. Just dummy. Okay, let's do one more. New page. Daisy. Is there something else? Nature leaves. Attack. She belongs to the family Sunflower. You can also, by the way, change the color if you do not like it. Edit property. And make sure it's multi-select. And if you want another... Um, like, I had the one with the kingdoms and then I had the one with the family. So you do not choose your tags in uh, the same place. You make another one and then you choose tag, multi-select, sorry. That's tags and you can call it, wait, we call this one family because it's about our family and we call this one um, character because this is about if they are a main character or a side character okay so we have our tags we have um, additional important information uh, if you uh, make this a page 
you get like the page. You can also add icon. Oh wait, we need a sunflower for this, definitely. Yum yum. Okay, so we have now our table view, but we want edit view. Or we can, wait, this is easier. We can change uh, gallery view, we add it. And then we get like the thing that we saw earlier on with pictures of the characters. And you can easily add a new page, but I think it's much easier to add all the tags in table view, but that's only to edit my gallery view. And then uh, I go to gallery view to actually see all the characters because I don't think, or do I show you Art Breeder? I do show you Art Breeder. Where are all my uh, characters? <laughs> Where did they go? Is this actually my... I don't think this is my account. Anyway, we'll just browse. That's maybe more fun for now. What if it's like... <laughs> a story about squirrels? It makes sense with last name. They see leaves. The first image you put into your character database or your character page is the picture they are gonna use for the thumbnail. So image. Okay, now it's very big, a large, but that's fine um, because we're gonna do also a table and we're gonna take it and drag it here. And then we can fill in what it is that we want to know. So height, <laughs> what do we want to know? Hair color, I, age. You should probably be more organized. Some stupid, <laughs> it's also stupid to write this down, but also so important. And then I want a little divider because that's nice. And then we go to, Hmm, well, I used heading for this because, but you're, you're free to choose whatever you want, but I'm just showing you how I make my database. So heading, uh, family, uh, another heading. Well, we just keep it like this, but you know what is important for your specific story to know. And by the way, this is, and not something you only need to do for stories. It's also very useful for maybe if you make movies, animations. Also very nice to have like an overview. The call out. Oh, I didn't show you. You can use the quote. Just yee hawing. And then I had like a table view for family. So mother father, sisters, brothers, um, children, <laughs> reposition please. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what did we say? Goal, weakness, internal conflict. He's also allowed to have strength and his own image about himself. There are so many things you can add. Maybe if you have a voice sample or anything, you can add it there or there's so many things you can add. Which makes it actually very fun. This is how I do it, but there are so many things more you can add. I'm just scrolling through it now because I think... Maybe it's very interesting for you to see what you can use. It's endless. Okay, so... <laughs> Did another heading. Values. <laughs> that was so a deep sigh. The five values. And then we can do number list. And you say money. Friends. Clothing. Nuts. Because it's a squirrel. 
and say this is some sassy squirrel okay then another divider another adding backstory and now we can just write another divider um what is also very important is that you don't fill in your database the first time you make it immediately because if you fill it in and you will start copying it to the other characters you have to change everything you wrote down every single time so you make like a template and then copy it to everything or just uh, save it as a template and then start uh, writing it so loading okay now you can write down fancy pink jacket if you want to okay so if you want to fill this by the way you can choose it here what i like to do is go to this just select everything copy new page paste um, call it template and then you have here like your template and every time you want a new character database you can do it either way just by copying or you can duplicate and just move it here and then you can unfold text yes and then you have it like this so two options how you can use it and then the picture of course you have to change you can make this pretty fast i know i have been talking for almost half half an hour but if you do this without any talking you will be done so quickly but that's how you make a character database in notion and I think it's so clear, so useful. And I love Notion. By the way, another thing, if you don't like this font, there are two other fonts. You have this one. And you have this one. You can choose. I hope you like this. I can also show you around my Notion sometime. Maybe I can show you how you make like an interface for a complete story with everything that can be useful, that is useful. In some stories I use more of the things that I use for a story interface than in other stories. But there is so much to dive into this. So if this is something you're interested in, Please leave a comment down below saying what you want to see, how I make certain things in Notion. Maybe you just want a play Notion um, tour with me and I will give you that. Maybe you want to see what other sites I use to make my Notion aesthetic. There is so much about Notion that I can show because I'm a big fan and I have been making my Notion perfect for ages now. But for now, just keep it just start making your character database. I hope it will help you make a great story, a great movie, a great animation, a great... I don't know what you can do more with character databases. Anyway, there's a lot you can do. So without anything else to say, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!